really see how the new Boxster has even more personality and is more aggressive than before. Porsche debuted five new models at the New York Auto Show, but the new 981 Boxster clearly stole the show. Over 100 PCA members were once again treated to VIP access to the Porsche booth, complete with breakfast, vehicle presentations, and best of all, one-on-one -on -one time with their favorite 2012 Porsche. Check in with Manny Alban, PCA's national president, who's on the show floor. Well, we're here again at PCA Day during the New York City Auto Show. This is the star of the show, we think, the new Boxster, what everyone saw pictures of, we're dying to see in person, got to sit in it, touch it, feel it. We're David Burkhalter, who's the product manager, sports car manager of, uh, for Porsche. And David, you gave the presentation earlier, a pretty thorough, detailed presentation on what the new Boxster is and what the changes. But maybe you can highlight a few of the uh, major changes. We can start off with the front. Maybe you can tell us a little bit about the headlights. Sure, I'd, I'd love to. There's a few changes, especially I'd like to discuss, that revolve around the dimensions or the design of the vehicle. As you alluded to, you can see we now have more of a vertical arrange, uh, arrangement to the front headlights. We also have larger air intakes. Overall leads to a more aggressive appearance to the Boxster. We also see some design cues most consistent with Carrera GT. If you move around to the side, you can see where the Boxster now has its own unique door, and you can see how the cutouts flow directly into the side air intakes Again, more characteristic of the Carrera GT. We also have the side mirrors, which have moved to the doors. They're no longer on the base of the A-pillar. Additional changes are one inch larger standard wheels. We have 18s now with the Boxster and 19s on the Boxster S. We also have some 20 inch wheel options for customers to choose from. In the rear, you can see where the new spoiler or wing when it's extended ties seamlessly into the LED rear taillights. Part of the taillights uh, are exposed and extend into the wing so that when the spoiler is retracted, it forms one uniform piece. I saw people actually, you actually encourage them to feel the headlights. And the headlights have, are they're part of that spoiler, which is really unique. It's uh, At first glance, it doesn't look like it, but when you feel it, you can feel it's not a flush headlight. It actually fits perfectly with the spoiler. The other thing you brought up uh, was the uh, speed of the top, how quickly you can get that sunshine into the car. Exactly. The new top is faster as well. It complements the new performance figures of the Boxster as a whole. The previous Roadster top was quick in itself at 12 seconds to fold up or down. The new Roadster top can go up or down in 9 seconds, which is quite a drastic improvement. Part of this is due to the elimination of the Roadster top cover. We now have more of a pure Roadster feel as it's simply the soft top which closes and opens on its own. Additionally, there's no longer a separate locking mechanism which the driver has to perform to open or close the roof. It's simply one button that you press and hold and within nine seconds it's either going all the way down or all the way up. Now this isn't just pure beauty, this has a, a quite a bit of, bit amount of power. Um, it's uh, pretty impressive numbers you were so spitting out about the speed. Just give us some quick synopsis of what, the, what kind of power this car has. Sure. To play off efficiency first, the Boxster has actually seen a decrease in displacement moving from 2.9 liters to 2.7, yet we've increased power. 10 more horsepower brings us to 265 at 6,700 RPMs horsepower for the Boxster. 50 more for the Boxster S, which gives you 315 horsepower, also at 6,700 RPM. Torque figures are 206 pound-feet for the Boxster and 266 pound-feet for the Boxster S. Overall, this leads to some improvements in acceleration. 0 to 60 for the Boxster with PDK and Sport Chrono is now 5.2 seconds, and the Boxster S is 4.5. You're also looking at uh, track time on the Nürburgring of under eight minutes for the Boxster S when optimally equipped. 
Now, is this going to be like the 9-on-1 where it only came in as PDK initially and then it's going to come manual? Or is that, uh, that available in both on, on the new Boxer manual or PDK initially? Both should be available initially, both the 6-speed manual or the 7-speed PDK. I won't put you on the spot, but this sends uh, to ask you when the bo new Boxer Spider is going to come out. But this sends you, uh, this gives a great message, I think, to the Boxer enthusiasts and Porsche enthusiasts that the Boxer brand is here to, here to stay. And we Porsche is going to continue building the true roadster. We're here with Mike Souza, who is the register coordinator for PCA National, who oversees all the PCA registers to include the Boxer and the Cayman register. So, Mike, uh, you know, these are two very exciting cars. And uh, I know the Boxster owners and Cayman owners are very passionate. What do you think this new model is going to do for the Boxster community? Well, i got to tell you, Manny, it's a really impressive car. I've seen a lot of spy photos and stuff on the Internet. I think the car really looks a lot better in person than, than any of the photos that I've seen. And some of those photos look pretty good. The, uh, the technologies that have gone into this car are, are really impressive. I really love the, the fact that it's lighter uh, and faster and yet bigger, longer and wider. Um, the technologies like the electric assisted power steering, I'm really curious to drive that and feel what that's like. Seeing this car has gotten me very, very, very curious about what the new Cayman is going to look like. Um, I can't wait to see what Porsche has in store for a Cayman crowd. We've got a lot of excited folks that have come out from the Cayman register and Boxer register to see this car, knowing that our new Cayman will probably be built very much on what we're seeing here. Oh, yes, yeah, some of these uh, Boxer and Cayman owners, what they think of the, uh, the car the, the boxer because if it, they're not a boxer lover they're definitely a Cayman lover and they're going to see something similar happening with the Cayman so let's hear a couple words what do you think of the new boxer I think it's very stylish I'm looking forward to seeing the Cayman impressive impressive and aggressive it's got a much more aggressive look love the two-tone collar well here you have it this is the uh, latest offering from Porsche it's bound to uh, get people to upgrade their boxers or welcome into the welcome them into the world of Porsche ownership with this beautiful car